because so yeah. often, and I do this myself, I'll think, yeah. you know what, my back will hurt. Now, I'll wake up in the morning, I'm like, okay, I have a long day, what do I need to do to feel better, yeah. you know? And the first thing that'll pop into my mind is go for a walk. And I'll think, no, I don't have time for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's cold out or it, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it, yeah, <laughs> something will come up. And that first thing that pops into our mind is usually the solution, isn't it? Right. Yeah. It, and it's so simple. I mean, I thought that the other day, too. I was like, oh, you know, like, I feel like my muscles feel tight. And I was like, oh, I should do some yoga. And I was like, no, it's late. I got to get ready. <laughs> and then I just stopped. And I was like, and I went to my yoga mat for at least 20 minutes. And then, right. you know, and then that was the catalyst to be like, oh, okay, I feel better. Now maybe I can sleep better. Maybe my muscles won't be so constricted when I wake up in the morning, you know? Yeah, if they're not constricted, they're calm and relaxed, and it feels really good, you know. There's oxygen flowing through the tissues. Yes, so set your goals. Really ask for what you want, whether it's about sleep, about physiology, about changing size, about changing shape, you know. Just ask for what you want, and then notice what shows up, and that's going to be the first thing you need to do to get there. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, a lot of times we've been trying to do this, you know, <laughs> trying be, being the important word there, <laughs> setting ourselves up for failure. But we have been trying to do this and we've, we've noticed that we failed in the yeah. past. If that's, your, if that's the case, that's why, that's why we have Ayurvedic practitioners, <laughs> is to help you make those changes. Maybe, you know, maybe you just don't know what to do. Right. Get some guidance, you know, seek some guidance and ask Definitely. yourself, what if it really does work? <laughs> you know, it yeah. sounds like it's so simple. It is. And, and that's what people sometimes think is, is a little crazy. They're like, wait, you're going to help me make better food choices or maybe teach me a little bit how to cook or I'm just going to take these herbs and they're going to, you know, they're simple. They're powder and water and they're not even that expensive and that's going to make me feel better. People yeah. think it has to be complicated that I need them to go buy something expensive or they got to mm. like, you know, totally change everything. And it's not... It's really not about being complicated. It's just about meeting yourself with where you're at in the moment. And then when you do that, everything can follow. And it's starting, you know, I did an interview Mm -hmm. last week with somebody who was like, yeah, once I started doing, I found the perfect action steps to take that would get me to my goal. Once I started doing that, I got so, I felt so good, you know. (laughs) And then, like he said, you know, then my whole point of attraction started to change. And everything in his life started to change. So yeah. it's funny, you know, when I when I went to this academy, uh, one of the directors used to say it's a, just a, like a big psychic hairball, <laughs> you know. Or some people say peeling the onion, right. you know, just the start layers. peeling away the layers and take one step at a time, right? You know, definitely. And and Ayurveda is so rich and beautiful when it comes to food like because food has energetics everything has a heating or cooling effect and there are tastes and people don't realize that it's not just sweet and salty but there's bitter and pungent and astringent and having all the tastes in your diet and using appropriate spices or i could change the energetics of food just by adding a different spice you know for example like when i have milk if i put a little cardamom or even a little bit of ginger that helps um, helps me digest the milk and also helps it be less mucus forming inside my body. So then I get the benefits of the milk, but my body has an easier time processing it. And the milk tastes better. Yeah, and it's so <laughs> delicious. So yeah, that's excellent. That's yeah. and so that's kind of some of the things that you would help people do. Right. You know, add little spices, and, and just change. It's that simple, really, to just change. Add an herb or. That's amazing. Or just cook your food in a certain way or eating at a certain time. Or maybe, you know, you take a certain type of, you know, lots of people have digestive disorders, but it's just they need to, you know, build that that agni, that digestive fire. So maybe there's certain, you know, like gingers, again, a fabulous one for helping increase your your digestion. So oftentimes when you're like, oh, I ate too much, you know? (laughs) So then people don't realize, take a little bit of ginger or have a little bit of ginger syrup. And it's like, wow then all of a sudden everything kind of gets moving and you don't feel that heavy bloated feeling. So I feel like on Thanksgiving I should just go around with a bag of ginger and be like, you need one? You need one? So just things like that. And once you have that toolkit, once you know, cool, if this happens, I get to do this. Or I just keep these things in my cupboard for if those situations arise or I feel like I am can't get to sleep or I'm having trouble digesting that day or all of a sudden I'm getting this rash on my skin or something. So you give people all of these different tools, and again, it's about individuality. It's different for every client. That's what I'm hearing. Basically, my my job is to work myself out of a job. 
Like, I want, <laughs> I want people to be able to have their toolkit and know what they need to do, and they can check in with me. But after, hopefully after several months, or sometimes I see clients ongoing for a year, but usually after that point, people don't need me so much anymore, and that's okay. You know, I don't, right. I don't want them to feel like someone else ha- holds the key to their well-being. So that's so self-empowering for them, right. I'm sure. I'm sure as well. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, again, once, you know, it's just like the other day when I was like, no, I don't want to go for a walk. I don't have enough time. And I actually did. I thought, you know, I'll just take my dog for a little walk. Big deal. You know, everybody will benefit. And five steps outside the door, I felt so much different and so uplifted. And and I thought, wow, how could it change that fast? Yeah. I know part of it is the endorphins start pumping and that's like a natural high for us. But again, it's about making... It felt so good to make that choice that I mm. knew would get me closer well, to what I right. wanted than, you know, whatever it was I was going to do. God only knows, you know, have another cup of coffee yeah. and sit in front of the TV for five minutes. Who knows, you know. Or like write another email that could probably wait anyway for you to feel better. Exactly how yeah. I know. That's probably what it was, too, <laughs> now that you mentioned it. <laughs> so that's, yeah, that's something that I wish people would take the time to realize is that, you know, when you have lists and you're like, oh, I need to do this and I need to do that, like those things when you actually have the ability to self-reference and self-care, then you shine and all of a sudden, wow, I do that and it, it only took me half an hour and that used to take me like two hours to get that task done because you're more productive, you're more on top right. of things because your energy is more centered and focused because you're you're nourishing yourself on a regular basis. It's not just, oh, I'm going to take a vacation and feel better. No, it's like, my life is better, you know? And, you know, I want to address something because you talked a little bit about um, about stress and, and, and even in right. your personal story, I was really stressed out and I gained weight. I had weight. Right. Is there something about, like, what happens when we go into, you know, stress, that fight or flight, sympathetic nervous right. system? What actually is happening in our body? Are we holding on to things? Is, what's happening? Yeah, well, when you're in your sympathetic nervous state, that means your, your nervous system is on go. You know, that fight or flight, like, what do I got to do? What do I got to do? Then all of a sudden, your your digestion shuts down because you can't, you know, you need to be in a parasympathetic state to digest food properly. Because if you think of animals in the wild, you know, after they eat, they usually lounge or they stay right. in a place. It's true. And they digest, and then they go hunt or they do whatever. And we're always hunting. We're always trying to figure out what to do. And so that stress, like our endorphins and especially... Our cortisol levels are so high that our body never knows how to relax. And then people wonder why you get gray hair or your skin starts to look really, you know, rough and aged because you're you're not your cells aren't regenerating. So it really does affect your whole physiology. Everything. I know I, I, I was told once that we're actually designed, human beings are designed to be in that fight or right. flight for sixty to ninety seconds. Yeah. You know, it's yes. kind of like that saber-toothed tiger's coming over the bush. You're right. either eaten in 60 seconds or you get away right. and you run. Yeah. And then it's back to, you know, Fred and Wilma in the cave telling their story, <laughs> having a nice cup of tea, right. back to that nice parasympathetic again. Yeah. And that's what I'm hearing you saying is that because of built stress and, and all the cortisols, you know, hormones running through our right. body, that we tend to stay in that fight or flight for exactly. way too long, sometimes throughout the day, sometimes throughout the night for people who don't even sleep. Right. What could that? What is that doing to our bodies? It's just aging you that much faster. And it's wow. taking away that vital energy that you need to feel good, to feel balanced. And especially, you know, simple things like driving a car or, you know, the phone rings. Those are things that make us be like, oh my gosh, who's on the phone? Or, ooh, if I don't make this light, I'm going to be late. You know, those are constant things that put us in stress patterns, too. Right. So, like, what's the opposite of that? What's the antidote to that? That's taking care of yourself. That's learning at the end of the day. Do you need to turn off the phone? You know, one client, I was like, I was like, you have to take yes. your laptop out of your bedroom. Take it out of the bedroom. And so she's like, okay, fine. And she listened. Sure enough, you know, she started sleeping a little bit better because there's not that electromagnetic energy, there's not that symbol of stress of what I have to do. So it's like, right. what, you know, what do you need to do? Where are your boundaries that make you feel taken care of? 